so admikul actually literally translates to a place where you get to learn to use fire uh, so if you think about it it was like agni plus gurukul right that is the core idea and the reason why fire comes in here is because you're building rockets and rocket engines are the most complex part of a rocket and we also thought it's a very basic instinct of human species itself to have stepped into the next level of evolution once we discovered how to use fire right so we thought of agnikul as a place where people come to learn to use fire for going to space so when we started it was like three people uh me moin and professor uh, satya chakravarti from the aero department so once we decided rockets actually there is a business model out there where you can make money off it and also solve a real problem we cold called a bunch of people and prof uh here actually agreed to spend some time with us so that's how it started so started with three people in a lunch room at uh, nccrd the national center for combustion r and d at uh, the main campus in iit and yeah today we are 120 people or so so thankful for that growth uh so the real goal that we are trying to solve here right the vision i would say first would be to make space transportation simple because today if you look at doing anything from space space is actually a pretty benign environment uh, once you get there but getting there is really hard so we thought getting to space shouldn't be the hardest space of doing something or living or working from space so that is actually the real you know intention that's the vision one way to do that is to make rocket launches super easily accessible for anyone who wants to put something in space or put himself or herself in space so that is the mission right launch anywhere anytime affordably and we're doing that through a product which we are calling agni ban which is a very easily buildable rocket which will probably make the experience of booking something to space like a booking a ola or uber cab that's the goal yeah so very thankful to research park and the incubation cell for one thing because actually except professor no one else is in the founding team is from iit right but we knew from the very beginning that uh, for doing something of this sort we actually needed an academy our backing this is not a uh, you know project that can be done in a lab indoors it needs hardware it needs expertise it needs people uh, it needs experience as well to some extent right so we were very clear that we should find an academy partner early on and uh, once prof agreed to generally support us it was like okay now let us make that formal through you know the incubation cell and then come to the search park as well so, uh, we got a lot of hand holding as well in constructing the right kind of pitch and yeah happy happily an incubate of <laughs> of in uh, metas incubation cell india has developed a lot of you know original knowledge in house now the next set of you know uh, gains in the economy are probably going to be dominated by space sector as well right so it's very important for india to have that capacity in house if you're looking at a you know, commercial aspect of space then you're actually better off doing it through the private way because there you're looking at production you're looking at profits you're looking at commercialization right so i think india should india is actually for the kind of technical uh, knowledge we have we are a little stuck actually in the past as far as how much we have tapped into the business potential so i think that is one reason why india should definitely come to the next level in terms of you know doing more stuff in space tech in house so in a rocket the first flight is also a test because you can own, you cannot test everything on the ground everything can be independently tested but together you can literally only test it for the first time in flight so that is what we are waiting for uh, hopefully later part of this year and from sri harikota which is you know right here 70 80 kilometers away which will be a big moment for all of us it's basically working in a space sector you know like i have like nearly 11 years of experience this kind of a new experience for me to work with a new generation uh, completely working together with iaso this gets me more excited basically when this facility everything you see here when it was being installed i was here so that's more exciting for me no day is the same day here that's one thing i can brief it up so one day you're doing something else the next day you're doing another challenging thing so that's something really exciting for me whole uh, construction what we are saying is it's uh, actually it's like uh, how we are constructing our own home we have constructed our own office so it's like a very memorable moment for me